This is a virtual garden software that you can download free. Um, it will guide you through. Simple to use. Click start. This device here give you the option of the width and length that you want your garden to be. Um, arrows pointing up and down. Rises or lowers each category width. Okay. Okay, it's very easy to do. You click and drag. Click, drag, click, and drag. Go down and click confirm. Okay. On the right side here are some options. How you want your fence to be? Wood fence, brick fence, stone, or hedge fence. We'll click brick. And once you do that, click the lines. And then go down and click confirm. And then you can click 3D view to see how you're progressing. And there it is. This zooms in, top arrow. Bottom one zooms out. Then you got your left and right arrows, right and left. Also got the option of going up and down. We'll go back to plain view by clicking. Then on the right side there's some options. Landscape, plants and objects. Objects would be furniture. You also have some more options below that, such as sheds, greenhouses. Water features. I click furniture. Table. Click and drag. Swirl on the center. Chairs. Click chairs and drag. Click. And also, barbecue grill. Click. Place. All right, back. And then uh, you can uh, go back to 3D view to see. Zoom in, out, zoom in. Ground cover. You got options of gravel. Different patio stones, brick, and it's plain grass and soil. Gravel.
Plants, back landscape, ground cover, so back put plants here some bubs we'll click drag several in a row Too bad. Back to plain view. You can always remove, rearrange, put in something different. Back to plants. You can have some evergreen plants. options annuals view there we go okay 
find you. can also shrubs Zoom out. Right now. Here you can add more salt, dirt. Have more plants all around the area to choose. Okay, an example of how to remove an atom. Just click on it. Hit remove object. Down here is the button. And it's gone. Or you can click and just move an object by dragging it. And click and again. Even the clouds move. This is very fun software to use. In fact, it may give you some ideas for your own landscape and your own yard. And the best thing about it is free. And you can always save your work by clicking up here, this icon, Save My Garden. And you can title it by clicking here and write something in it. So Just go down here and hit save SCARM. Your file has been saved. You can click back, go back plain view, and hit ESC on your computer tablet to exit out. And click the icon to bring it back up and hit open previous garden, which is the icon right below Save My Garden. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.